out and then we'll go ahead and try and put some eyelets on the other one. And just drop my ball and yank people out. Here's I'm working a screwdriver into what we would call the clip side of the nut of the knot. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna try and work it back over this way, over the tail end of the knot. <coughs> just so we can get at least one leg out of this clinch. And the knot should really just fall apart after that. So using the screwdriver and some pliers to work it back and forth and help it up. Uh, don't have Jesse here now to do this, but well, we brought the operation inside because it's cool to inside. And there's TV. And uh, we're using a hot bucket of soapy water and soak the knots in there for a bit so it'll loosen up. Hopefully that'll work. Yeah. So we're gonna take the knot, we're trying to take apart. We're gonna submerge it in here. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, it's been soaking in hot water now for a good hour or so, and I agitated and mix it around. It's still hard, but it's movable now. And so now we're gonna beat it up a little bit. Uh, I use my hitch, it's got a ball on it, you know, so it'll do a different shape. And I'll bash it a bit to try and open it up and use a screwdriver to loosen it up, see what happens from there. Mm -hmm. So open it up slowly, as you can see there. So as we get some of this mud and sand exposed, we're going to keep wetting it a little bit more. Uh, so figure out a little bit more. Alright, so I'm soaking it up in there. Somebody's probably wondering why is that not so important? Because I have one on the other end. But that's not too important because that's only about three feet of rope. This knot is eight feet down a loose end. So I'm losing eight feet of tow line because that knot is there for regular toe strapping or whatnot. So that knot's important to me. I want it out of there. I want to have the full 80 feet of whatever rope I have in there. And then I have a regular static line to tow somebody home if we need to. Boom. We're all done. The knot's out. Yay, that end. And now we got to cut the other end nice and even. And I think I'm going to undo that knot as well. I'm going to undo that one right there so we can get a nice, pretty looped eyelid at the end of it. Yay, the other knot came undone. All right, so we got it all undone. We got that end done and the other end. And now I'm going to sharpen up my axe and we're going to cut the end off nice and pretty. Uh, and we'll see about uh, making these eyelets on the ends. That we can do inside, but I got to cut everything off out here. And I don't have a cameraman to hold the phone while I do the video, so I'll just show you what it's done after. Well, 80 feet. So let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up, take it inside, and put some ends on this guy, or try anyway. You can watch some YouTube videos and come back and do this one. Boom. You got a nice eyelid on there. Go tighten it up a little bit. We'll go out there, tie it to a tree, and yank them. Good chow. We got them done. Loops on the ends, braided in nice and neat, hopefully. And uh, so now we're gonna take the rope, tie it up to a nice big mesquite tree, and then I'll uh, drop the bolts, both loops on my hitch, give it a little tug to tighten these guys up.
tightening these up so that way they cinch on each other. Get one more good tug and we should be good to go. dropping the rear end, man. That's good enough for the whole time. All right, guys, now that we're done tightening up the ropes and everything and giving them a good couple of tugs to make sure that they cinch up nice and tight in here, went ahead and uh, laid the ropes back down and wrapped them in some uh, uh, Gorilla Tape and then rewrapped them in some regular electrical tape, black tape, uh, with uh, a layover of some Gorilla Tape to keep that latch on there. Uh, the best thing I think is going to be for these right here would be some silicone tape we just came out with at uh, Home Depot. And we wrap that up nice and tight all the way down and, and inside the loops and back up and then and let it close off on there. But our 80 foot toe strap is ready for recoveries. And uh, thank you to the guys from RG Mud and Sand who came through and were able to get it for me. Uh, we can't all afford bubble ropes, but some of us can afford some dock rope, and that's what this is, I believe. Uh, we'll find out the first toll we give it. And uh, feel free to check out RGB Mud and Sand. It's a local group for South Padre Island, Texas, uh, where we pull people out of the sand and the mud if they get stuck. Uh, hit us up if you need anything. It's on Facebook. And thank you guys out. Uh, join us next time for our rope rack that we're going to make for the broke-ass Bronco. Uh, thank you. Peace out. Thank you.